Hello everyone, this is Elias5891 here with another Contain module tutorial. This time we are covering the Chord Qualities module just came out. Uh, for those who don't know music as well, this this may seem a little intimidating, but it's it's not. I can show you how to do it, and you don't even have to know music really. The way we're going to do this, uh, let's take a look at it first. As the diffuser, you're going to have a list of all of the notes from A to G sharp in order, in chromatic order, and four of them will have arrows by them. Now, the first thing I recommend for the diffuser is to take those four notes that have arrows pointing to them, read them, and then since it's a little easier to do it on this dial than in the head for someone who's not as musical, also give the gap between them. So here's what I mean. Uh, for this one, uh, my notes are D sharp. Notice between in, between any two letters, it's the sharp version of the one before or the flat version of the one ahead. So this would be D sharp. The next one, oops, the next one is F, then G sharp, then A, and then it would loop back to D sharp if I'd done it in a different order, because this can spin, and we don't know which one we're starting at yet. Uh, but we started at D-sharp, so we'll go back to it. And then I like to give the distance between each of them. So I would say, okay, from D-sharp to F is one, two semitones. That's a gap of two. Uh, one, two, then three. Then one. Two, three, four, five, then six. Now, this seems like a weird way of doing this, perhaps, but this will help the expert simplify things when they go through and try to match up which chord, root, and quality they want. So, uh, what the expert is supposed to do is to figure out which chord D sharp F G sharp A is, or maybe G F G sharp A D sharp, or some ordered permutation of that. The way you're going to do that is you're going to take the second table, and this looks really intimidating. What it basically means is if, say, you've got a, a, a G sharp, sharp chord, and it's a, a null chord, or however you read this, then you're going to start at G, then you're going to go up three semitones for the next, six semitones for the second one, which would be three more from the last one, then another four for ten total, and then another two to get back to the starting point. That's why we've done it like this. This is kind of a road map for us on what sort of gaps we're looking for in our table. So let's say we start here at D sharp. Then we're going to need to do plus two to get to another note. Well, if we look here, we want to hit plus, we're going to start here, then we're going to hit plus two. Okay, there's a couple candidates. Then we're going to go plus three to get to the next note. So we go up three more. And notice I don't have any chords that have it X'd all the way down thus far. And when I add the plus one, you know, I still don't obviously. So this is not my starting point. This is not the chord root that I'm looking for. So let's move up and start here. If we start at F, then we have our original offset, plus three plus one from there, and then plus six from there. And then we look, do any of these lines work correctly? Do they all four get X'd out? In this case, they do actually. Right here, this uh, seven pound nine, that gives me the four gaps that I'm looking for. Now, because we started at the F, and then we went three notes up, or three semitones up, then one semitone up, then six semitones up, then two to get back to the F. It is an F chord, so my root is F, and my quality is this thing up here at the top, which is seven pound nine. We'll do this again. Let's go ahead and finish this one up, and then we'll do this one more time. Maybe two more times, because this is a little bit weird, I know. Uh, so we have a root and quality. When we have that, we're going to flip to this table, take the quality we had found, and switch it to a new root. Uh, we had seven pound nine, 
So here in quality to root, here's seven pound nine. That's gonna change to an A. And we were an F root. So that's gonna give us a new quality of add nine. Well, what does that mean? Well, we're gonna come back down to the table again. We're gonna look at the add nine. And this, this is how I suggest giving out your answers. Don't even turn it into notes for your diffuser. You're just gonna tell him it's an A root, so start at A. He's going to spin around until he gets to A. And what he's going to do is, he, as the diffuser, you're going to hit the four notes you're looking for. You're going to hit this little blue button to make them light up green. And then you're going to OK when you have all four. So for this one, it's an A root. So we're going to start at A. And then we're going to do, let's look at the gaps. We're going to do plus two, plus two, plus three. So that's what I would just tell him. I'd say start at A, go plus two, one, two, plus two, one, two, plus three, one, two, three, plus three, and we submit. And that's how we get an answer. That's weird. That may take a little practice. So let's do one or let's do two more. You can see what I'm suggesting. Okay, as the diffuser, we read the notes. D, D sharp. F sharp, A sharp, uh, starting from D, our gaps are 1, 3, 4, 4. So D, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. Gaps are 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what we need to start with. So let's start testing. If we start at D, then we have a plus one. Well, we, we've already lost everything. Nothing has that sort of a gap from the start. So we don't start at D. Do we start at D sharp? We'll do a plus three, and then a plus four from there. One, two, three, four. And then a plus four from there. One, two, three, four. Aha, and there we go. This one's got X's on all four intersections or on all four rows. So we start here. This is a D sharp, and it's a minus delta, that's a delta symbol. I don't know how it's read in music, to be honest. Uh, it's a minus delta seven. So that is our root, because that's where it started. And this is our chord quality to tell what sort of gaps we have. We'll loop back up and convert. A negative delta seven is here. So we're going to have an F for our answer. And a D sharp becomes a seven pound nine, seven number nine. So let's hop down here. Uh, here's seven pound nine. So we're going to tell our diffuser. All right, start at F. We're going to go plus one, two, three. Plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus six. Done. One more. This one, uh, I like to go ahead and turn it to a starting point so it's easier for me to keep track of where I started. A, B, C sharp, E. Gaps are plus two, plus two, plus three, plus five, two, two, three, five. All right, expert time. We start at A, we see if this works. Starting at zero, plus two, plus another two, plus another three, and then five to loop. Hey, first try, we got it. So this is an A, add nine. Let's convert that. Add nine becomes a D sharp. And the A becomes a negative delta seven pound five. So here's negative delta seven pound five. We're starting at D sharp. So we tell our diffuser. All right, start at D sharp plus three. 
from there to the next one, it's plus one, two, three, four, plus five. Plus three. Submit. That's an alarm clock. Let's get that off there. Let's uh, let's do one more actually together, and then I'll give you uh, a blank screen. Give you one on your own. Uh, for this one, we're gonna start at G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E. That gives us gaps, and truthfully. If you know your musical notes or you have them listed down, you could figure out the gaps, but I think it's quicker to do it this way. Uh, gaps are plus 5, plus 2, plus 1, plus 4. Plus 5, plus 2, plus 1, plus 4. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, if we start here with G sharp, we do plus 5, plus 2, plus 1, plus 4. Uh, no, that doesn't cover anything. Let's try here. Start here. Plus two. Plus one. Plus four. Winner. Minus add nine. So it's a C sharp. Minus add nine. We're going to convert. C sharp is going to become a minus add nine, actually. And the minus add nine becomes an E. So we're going to tell them to start at E. Then we're going to do plus two. Let's clear this out. We're going to do plus two, plus one, plus four. So E plus two, plus one, plus four. There we go. All right. You've seen me do four now. Let's give you one to do on your own. See how you handle it. Let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead, we'll blank the screen for a second. Uh, if you need a copy of the uh, manual page, then you can get that from uh, Timway's site. Because I'm not going to be able to scroll it as... Con actually here, I can... Yeah. So I'll leave it here, and I'll scroll it down once I give it out, and you can uh, grab whichever part you need. Alright, for this one... Actually, I'll give you two. For the first one, A, D, E, F, Alpha, Delta, Echo, Fox, Trot. Uh, gaps are plus five, plus two, plus one, plus four. For your second one, and I'm going to go ahead and jot that down as well. So A, D, E, F, plus five, plus two, plus one, plus four. For your second one, we have B, bravo, C sharp, Charlie sharp, F sharp, G sharp, golf sharp, B, C sharp, F sharp, G sharp. It's gaps of plus two, plus five, plus two, plus three. All right, go ahead and pause the video here. Take a little bit, see if you can gather them. Uh, these will be the two in the top left and top center when we come back, and we'll see how you did. So let's pause and work on them. All right, let's take a look at this together now. Here we are back on screen with my uh, notes as well. Uh, for the first one, this one here, A, D, E, F, plus five, plus two, plus one, plus four. Uh, I went ahead and looked through all of them, uh, and if you start here at the D, plus 2, plus 1, plus 4, that gives you minus add 9, D minus add 9. If we scroll up, D and minus add 9 is going to convert to an E delta 7. Delta 7. So if we look at Delta 7, we're going to start at E, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 1, 2, 3, plus 1, 2, 3, 4. So E, plus 4, plus 3, plus 4. 
for the second one. B, C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, plus two, plus five, plus two, plus three. Uh, if you start here at the C sharp, you might see it poking out from the bottom. Then you got plus five, plus two more, plus three more. That gives you this one, seven sus, seven sustain, I think. So a C sharp and a seven sus, that becomes a D minus add nine, D minus add nine. So we look at the minus add nine. We're gonna start at D, do plus two, plus one, plus four. D, plus two, plus one, plus four. And there we go. That is chord qualities. Um, if you want to know more about chords, look online. There's some actually really some interesting resources. Chords are interesting musically, um, but you don't have to know them for this, really. It, it might help, but you don't have to. Anyway, this has been Elias. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, leave them in the section down below, as always, please. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and don't explode. Bye, guys.